Hi everyone, in this video we will see uh, about pivot charts and uh, pivot uh, tables. For that I have collected uh, some data. This is the data related to uh, sales of an electronic shop. Okay, and that uh, electronic shop is uh, having uh, three branches, one in uh, east direction and in uh, central and in west direction. It has got uh, three uh, different branches and this whole data is the sales that has happened in all the branches of the electronic shop. Okay, so the first column represents the date at which the sales uh, has been carried out and uh, manager name is there, sales name, salesman name is there and uh, list of different items, electronic items are there and number of units sold on each date is there and unit price is there and total sale amount is also represented. Total sale amount means it is number of units multiplied by unit price will give total sale amount that is F2 into G2. So this is what the data. Okay. <coughs> so using this data we will learn about pivot tables and the pivot charts. Okay. Basically these pivot tables or the pivot charts are used to get an idea of uh, the summary of a data. Okay, here we have some raw data, correct? The sales data. So, if you want to know the manager named Martha, how much sales is being taken place under the managership of uh, Martha? Or if you want to know what is uh, the sales the total amount of sales that is carried out uh, carried by uh, the salesman Stephen. Okay, and uh, if you want to know what is uh, the total <coughs> uh, sale amount that has happened between uh, January six to January twenty. Okay, like this, if you have if you want to have some visualization about the data. Or if you want to know contribution of a manager or salesman towards the sales of a shop or the sales of a uh, items of a shop, we will use this pivot char charts or the pivot tables. Okay, let us see how to prepare these pivot tables or the pivot charts. So what you need to do is you need to click on particular any of the cell of the data. And one more important thing, there should not be any empty column or empty cell in between the data. Similarly, there should not be any empty row or empty cell between the data. Okay. For preparing this pivot table or the pivot charts, this is very, very important thing that you need to keep in mind. The data should be continuous along the row and it should be continuous along the column. Okay. Now what we will do is, I will click on some particular cell of the data, Any you can click on any cell, go to insert, here we have the option called pivot table, I will click on this pivot table, now it will ask the range of the data, the range of the data you can say automatically it is selected, the range of the data is automatically selected, okay. Otherwise, what you can do is, if you uh, if you have placed the cursor somewhere somewhere outside the data, means if you go to insert and if you click on pivot table, it will ask the range. Okay, you have to manually select the range. That is why I told you, click on a particular cell. Automatically, it will select all the data. Now, what I will do is, I will select all the data manually. Okay, like this. You need to select manually. Otherwise, click on one particular cell click on pivot table automatically the data will be selected okay now it is asking one more question choose where you want to uh, you want the pivot table uh, table report to be placed new worksheet and existing work worksheet if you want to create the pivot table in the existing works worksheet itself you can select the existing or you can select new worksheet now i will select new worksheet only to avoid the confusions between the existing data and the pivot data. 
ओके आई सेलेक्ट न्यू वर्कशीट से ओके नाउ यू हैव गॉट एन विंडो दैट इज पाइवोट टेबल फील्ड्स विंडो सो यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट नाउ हियर वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट सेल्स हियर फिल्टर्स कॉलम्स रोस एंड वैल्यूज वी हैव टू प्लेस और वी हैव टू चूज अप्रोप्रिएट Uh, parameters and we have to place those parameters into these cells. Okay, filter rows, values, and the columns. Now, in the row column, what I will do is I will select manager first. Okay, just click on manager and drag down and drop drop in the rows. Now you can see automatically the manager list is created here. Correct. So under manager, who will come? The salesman will come. now i'll select salesman and drop in row cell okay our rows window under salesman the items will come okay now i'll select the item click on item and drop in rows okay after that what is there uh units is there Units, unit price, and sales amount is there. So here we have one more column, summation of the values. So you want to know what is the total number of units sold in a particular date. You want to know what are what is the number of total number of units sold under some particular manager or under some particular salesman. Okay. So in this case, we have to place these. Parameters under sum of values. Okay, so whichever the parameter, okay, which contains numbers, no, usually we will place those parameters in summation cells. Remember, okay. Then unit price also I will drop in the same box only, sum of values only. Okay. Now you can see parallelly the data is being generated. As soon as I place each and every parameters in the respective Sales now the data on the left side it is automatically generated. You can see here. Then sale amount also I'll take in the same cell only. Okay. Then there are two more parameters: order date and the region. Okay. East, west, and central uh, region. Three regions. So the uh, the shop is having its uh, branches. Okay. So order date and region I'll take in take it in filters okay so you saw that you can filter the date and uh, for the required date you can see the sales data or else we can uh, filter the region east west or central that uh, the region also you can filter and with respect to that region chosen you can see the data okay like this whichever the parameter you you feel to be filtered that data you need to place in the filter cell Okay, what I'll do is I'll take uh, this order uh, region and order date in the filter cell. Okay, now a systematic pivot table is generated. You can see here. Okay, now here you can see. See this under Douglas Manager, you can see the summarized data. Total four fifteen units have been sold out. and sum of unit price is given sum of sale amount is given okay under douglas there are 1 2 3 4 four salesmen working okay under the uh, douglas manager four salesmen are there that is john karen michael and arman okay and it is also showing contribution of each and every salesman okay with respect to john he has sold uh, two desktops okay 87 home theater and 67 televisions okay and uh, john total he has made a total business of how much 1 lakh 24016 rupees okay like this you will get a very good idea about the summary of the data okay so if you want If you want to know contribution of only manager, you can just click on this minus button. Means you can click on, you can collapse this data. Okay, you can collapse this data. 
or if you want you can expand you can expand data if you click here the data will be expanded okay if you want to know only contributions of each and every managers okay contribution there are total four managers working under that uh, electronic shop you can just know the contribution of managers if you want to know contribution of the salesmen working under these managers you can expand like this okay now at the last you you are getting that grand total as well the total business that has happened okay that is 1 crore 30 lakhs 5675 rupees is the total business and uh, total unit price is also displayed here and total number of units is also displayed here okay like this the pivot table will help you a lot to get a brief idea about the distribution of the data and in this data if you want to know in a particular region only uh, the branch which is situated uh, in the east direction what is the business that has happened okay in the filter you can go there here region select multiple uh, files select only east okay whichever the uh, the branch you want to know the data you can select that particular branch i have selected the branch which is located in the each direction i want to know what is the total sales that sales that took place in the branch which is located at the east direction say okay now it is given only the data related to the east branch the branch which is located at the east direction okay if you want to know the total data distributed across uh, both east and west direction the branches which are situ situated in uh, east and west direction say okay it, will, it is giving the relative data or uh, respective data similar to the similarly you can filter the dates okay here i will select all say okay now i want to know what is the business that has happened on january 10th okay january 10th yeah, first you need to click on select multiple files then unclick all then you select only january 10th okay now it is showing on january 10 uh, this is the total business that has happened that is 67088 rupees okay and in the january in in the branch which is located in west direction or east direction what is the business that has happened that also you can check there is no business okay there is no sales happened okay on january 11 if you want to check you can check See, on January 11, in the branch located in the east direction, so 30,000 businesses happened. Okay, so this is how uh, you can filter the data. Okay, you can filter the data. Only the thing is, you need to uh, select the parameters in a right way. Okay, in a right way, which are all the data that has to appear in uh, rows, which are all the data that, that has to appear in the columns which are all the data you want to summarize that you need to properly select okay so it will give you, give you the beautiful data distribution okay so this is about uh, the pivot tables now let us see about pivot charts pivot charts okay now you have you are seeing uh, the summary of the data in the form of table pivot charts means in the form of charts uh, you can see the summary of the data for that uh, you just click on any one of the cell okay insert just a minute uh, insert here you have an option called pivot chart okay click on pivot charts select pivot chart so here different variety of uh, charts are there whichever that is convenient for you okay to get the summary of the data that you need to select now i'll select this chart okay here what i will do is i'll select this particular uh, chart okay say okay 
Now you can see. I just expand this. So in chart also you can do the filtering. In chart also filter option is there. You want if you want to know the sales took place by Timothy. Say okay. Only it will display the chart uh, the sales related to the manager Timothy. Similarly, salesman is also there. Okay, you can filter the data in chart as well. You can filter the data in chart as well. Okay, so here you can see the green uh, column represents total sale amount and red, co red column represents uh, sum of unit price and blue represents sum of units. Okay, so region particular with respect to some particular region also you can choose the data. So in the west direction, the how many televisions means what is the total sales with respect to the television? What is the total sale with respect to home theater? What is the total sale with respect to desk or the cell phone? You can see. Okay. So meanwhile, you can even change the chart type also. You can add the axis titles. Okay. You can uh, choose the data labels as well. If you click on data label now, the re relative numbers, okay, the total uh, sum of unit price will be displayed in the chart itself. Okay, everything will be displayed. You can see, and you can even change the uh, color options also. Click on chart, okay, click on the chart. Here you have a design option, you can change the colors, okay. You can change the colors as you want, like this. And again, there are a few more power formats you can see here, like this. You can change the formats as well. So, whichever the format that you feel convenient, you can select that, like this. Okay. So, this is about the pivot tables and pivot charts. Thank you.